Hello guys, Matthew Moss right here, and welcome to the unboxing and first look at the ARM iX6. A computer by Arcomp, uh, sports a quad-core ARM processor, and I believe 2 to 4 gigs of RAM. Now you might be wondering, Matthew, didn't you just build your, a brand new computer for your work? And you would be right. Uh, this is not for me, this is from Dad. This is his new personal workstation to replace uh, the Risk PC, which is in pieces because, you know, it's broken down actually, the hard drives died. But considering his age, it's, this machine was released in 1998, it's done quite well. So this is a replacement to that. So let's jump right into the packaging. Now, as I said, this thing sports like the, an ARM processor, uh, quad cores, although the operating system can only take advantage of one of those cores as of, the rec as of this recording, but uh, they are working on multi-processors, that's multi-core support. So, that's good. It also comes with a 256GB SSD, powered through the SATA 3 bus, naturally. Uh, with WiscoS 5.22 pre-installed, as well as some other cool bits and pieces. There we go, now we open the packaging box and we'll be greeted with the box to the unit itself. It says, well, the box is... There we go. And here it is, the box to the computer itself, which is basically just the case box. So this is the case that our particular unit comes in, a Aspire PowerCube Mini ITX case, which is a boy of one of those spoke standard cases um, you can buy for about £20, but... Um, but there you go, we now take off the flap, and now we're greeted with a message for Dad, actually. Um, many thanks for your order, and yeah, so it's just saying thanks, so that's always good. We take off the protective phone, which is this, it would choose a hard phone, which is, means this thing ain't gonna get damaged while it's in shipping. Oh, there's another interesting point I want to make about this particular computer. The, this computer is built to order. This thing isn't made for it. This thing is literally built to order. Um, which is really cool. And, oh, what's that? There's like a flat come undone. But there you go. We're taking it out of the cover and... Oh, boy, look at it. It's amazing. We, as I say, um, it looks amazing. Um, if I did have one, but but one criticism is that the um, back is quite scarce in terms of the I/O. Other, other than that, we're looking at a very normal, ch cheap case. Um, looks really, really nice. Um, oh, I mean the back. Wait, wait, wait. Um, again. Also, there's another criticism. Uh, it's a glossy um, case, so this thing is going to be a fingerprint magnet. So, but it says that you probably won't be moving it around that much. But still, it's worth it being worth noting. Uh, so here's the front of the unit, and I got, it does look very nice. And I can't wait to start benchmarking this um, probably tomorrow when the Risk PC comes back online. But here's the side, which is. Ventilation vents, which probably won't be needed. Here's the back, and you can see at the back we got two U two USB 2.0 ports, internet, H HDMI, the audio out, if you another two USB, and then the then the power power supply, which is 250 volts. And on the other side, and the top is just uh, glossy land. That's the best way to describe it. Oh, and also the back. That's normally just metal. 
Now if we look at the, what's else in the box other than the packaging, we have the documentation to the computer itself as well with a I don't, looks like a remote actually. This thing, the way this thing came with a remote. As well, it comes in, also, it looks like it comes with a restore USB. Now we got an eight, yeah, I think this is meant to be a restore, just in case you need to restore the computer. Okay, so now for this portion of the video, we're going to benchmark the Arm X6. Now, considering we cannot use usual benchmarking programs like the Geekbench and Cinebench, we, I had to think a little bit creatively on how we could benchmark it against other hardware. Thankfully, um, I believe a person called Mike saved the day with their WishOS Mark program, which benchmarks all the you know, all the systems in the Risk PC. Now, to test it against the Omic 6, we are going to benchmark it against the Hacking Pass, uh, which has RPCMU on it, as well as the Omic 6 itself. We were going to originally benchmark that old Risk PC, but it met with an unfortunate USB based fate um, come last Friday, so that's out of the running. But thankfully, uh, the internet has provided me with some what seems to be overclocked with PC uh, scores as well as just for fun the TV2100 so let's jump right in something and there we go and okay, let's see what we got CPU scores wow 415% over a 202 megahertz with PC come on let's go down to the yeah, do the Arm X6 for the first time. Mm, yes. Now the Arm X6 has never been turned down before. This is a, essentially a first boot and there she is in all her glory. Now I also wanted to point out, I what, what I said was the remote, wasn't actually the remote, it was like had the uh, little snub for the stars to stop it sliding around. So just want to point that out. Three. Two, one, five, no. Okay, it must be the other one then. Hmm. Two, three, four, there we go. And huzzah! What done? Wow, let's see what this does. The resolution swung, but we can worry about that later. Okay. And two, three, uh, let's see, and... Whoa! Wow, that's like quite a white loss, actually. Yeah, that's a lot larger of a gap than I thought it was going to be. Um, so what we have concluded from these, these benchmarks that it's essentially a white was between even from an emulation on a modern x86 hardware to compare to the Arm Mini which is really is no surprise considering the architecture and how you know still proves how much faster Arm is compared to Whisk, um, compared to Cat classical x86 so now what we're going to do for the final part we're going to have a look inside and see what how upgradable the machine is because it's if you want to put in a hard drive or something so we okay. now that has already changed the screws from to be to be thumb screws so ordinarily you would need a screwdriver but thanks to dad we don't actually need that so it's Oh, you do get an optical drive in it. Okay, so... Wow, he didn't reach... Half of them hasn't reached skimped in, in the components, because down there you can see a crucial 500GB SSD that, that's connected, I believe, directly to the SATA port of the motherboard. Up here is the DVD rewriter, which is always a nice feature to have. 
and since you've got two USB 2 hubs that seems to be connected directly onto the motherboard that probably is giving some of the I.O. for probably things like the USB 3 drive I would imagine as well as uh, the ports for the front. See, yeah look, the USB cable is going with the, the SATA adapter goes straight to the uh, to the DVD drive. But that, it's understandable considering it's not very important. We have a 300 watt power supply here, and we, by the looks of the case, we have room for another two and a half inch drive. If you want to put in a hard drive or a uh, another SSD in it. Other than that, um, by the looks of things, it's not fairly upgradable, which is a bit. Same, but you still seem to be getting a lot of bang for your buck. So, in conclusion, um, if this machine starts at six ninety nine, our particular configuration, I believe, is seven seven ninety nine pounds. Um, and judging by the scores, it's infinitely faster than the, than a Wisp PC and most likely an INX as well. And Anyone who's actually upgrading from a Whisk PC or iron know, side point could say yes, it's pretty much worth the mon money at this point. Point as a first impression, I am completely blown away by the um, the speed of the machine as well as frankly how much you get you're getting for for a, a machine of this caliber. Um, it, it, there's also one um, Ubuntu, so you could turn this into a server, you know, a, a Linux-based server, if you so want to, although I would probably stick with Frisco S, because they're probably the most rock-solid operating system you can get, especially for an, a Whisk-based um, processor. For £699, it is quite a steep asking price, but I think uh, as, as soon as HTML5 support comes to Whisk OS, I think this thing will be an because uh, I will get the ball moving. This thing will be an absolute killer machine, mm -hmm. as well as multi processor support. But uh, as it stands, even with one core, the, the benchmark shows that it's still quite a machine. And if you're doing graphics work like photo editing or even things like in, like vector based work, this thing is just going to sort through anything that you can possibly get. At the moment, if you get a Core 7 machine, for instance, it's probably not going to perform nearly as fast as this. So, guys, thank you so much for watching for this unboxing and first impressions of the um, Arm X6. Uh, thank you for watching it, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.